thank you for coming thank you for being here and if you are a loyal subscriber welcome back girl nice to see you anyway so today we are at home goods i love home goods home goods is my favorite store i could literally go to home goods every single day and find something luckily in my area there is like five home goods in like a 20 mile radius from me and this is the closest one to my home so we are going to home good to see what we can find granted i do not need any more home decor stuff but you know once in a while i like to switch things out not really according to the season i'm not like a seasonal home decor kind of person per se but i just like to switch things out after looking at something for a while like oh i want to switch this vase i want to switch this comforter this rug like i like to just switch things up to make my home feel different sometimes i get like my eyes get bored of looking at the same thing for a while so yeah make sure you hit that like button on this video if you like home decor shopping especially like me or shopping period i know i feel like i'm always shopping but granted at these stores that i go to there's like always new stuff so there's always new stuff to buy right make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already chat with me down in the comments because i love talking to y'all and i answer all of my freaking comments and make sure you share this video because sharing is caring like i always say so yeah let's go into this home goods and see what they have to offer today let's do home goods shall we who else gets so excited to go to home goods when there's nothing else to do target and home goods i'm hitting them up right away so when i first walked in i saw this beautiful little outdoor lounge set i thought it was so nice i love the color combination of that wood and that gray color and it was 5.99.99 uh, it's kind of pricey. Granted, you can go on like Wayfair or something like that and find something similar, maybe for cheaper or possibly Walmart. But those were cute to start. Look how adorable. Couldn't you imagine that on like a small balcony like mine? Because I kind of have something similar like that on my balcony, but it's black. Um, yeah, so moving along. <laughs> Next, I found this gold silverware or cutlery set, flatware, my bad. Set of 16, so four of each for $24.99. The only thing with gold stuff is that I've heard if it's cheap quality, like it can start chipping and then you see the silver underneath and then it's not worth it. These were so freaking cute. Like if Restoration Hardware has flatware, I'm pretty sure they do. It would look something like that. I wanted to buy these, but Lord knows I don't need silverware. So I put those down. This decorative bowl re was really nice. It was by Rachel Zoe. I love the colors. It's very modern. And it was only $9.99. I honestly should have picked it up, but I didn't, but I should have. But if I go back now, it's probably gone. And that is the thing about home goods. If you see something you like, you better snatch it, even if you're not sure, because it won't be there next time. This planter I thought was so nice and modern. I love that teak wood mixed with like that stone cement type of look. I couldn't find the price on it, but I thought that'd be really cute for inside your home or possibly like a covered patio area because um, it doesn't really look like it'd be that sturdy outdoors. This white one in front too I thought was kind of cute. A little grandma -ish, but something about it was cute. I was trying to find the price on this thing for you guys, but it just wasn't happening. Well, there you go. This brand is Tahari if you wanted to know. So check out your local home goods for that. Um, home goods also always has a good variety of the good stuff, which is Manuka honey. Little ass jar like this is $12.99, but girl, Manuka honey is a deal compared to regular honey. You can look up the benefits yourself when you get a moment. This one is only $7.99 and they literally always have Manuka honey in stock. This cold brew, the Starbucks cold brew, is something I always pick up every time I go to Home Goods when I'm feeling lazy and I don't feel like making iced coffee. It's only $4.99, which I think is a pretty good deal. Just mix that with some ice, some creamer, and whatever toppings of your choice. As you can see, I picked mine up, like I said, I always do. And uh, you're good to go. If I mean, I also have an iced coffee maker thingy, but sometimes I don't feel like going through the hassle. So I just pick one of those up. Moving right along to the other decor section of the store because I literally go down like every single freaking aisle. If you don't like to do stuff like that, then you would not want to go with me to Home Goods. Me and my mom do it all the time. I thought this little planter was kind of cute. You can put utensils in it or a plant. Uh, it was $14.99. I wasn't crazy about the color, 
but I thought the shape of it was pretty cute and modern and on trend. Moving on to the vases, I actually have this vase right here. Um, in my kitchen, if you guys saw my little kitchen makeover video, I have it on the top where there's like that weird empty space between the ceiling and the cabinets. That's where I put it. I also thought this shiny white vase was also super cute. I love anything fluted. Um, and it was only $16.99, I believe. I don't like that little thing, whatever that is. I was just moving it out of the way so you guys can see this one too. It has some scratches on it, but I love how it's matte and it's also fluted, a very nice vase, vessel, whatever you prefer to call it. Um, but yeah, this was one of my favorites there and that was $29.99, not bad. I also have something similar to that above my kitchen cabinets as well, but just like a shorter version. So moving right along. I don't know what it was about this freaking um, section. I love gray stuff. This little lady right here just intrigued me for some reason. I just thought she was so cute and feminine. She was by Mikasa. And my mom used to love Mikasa stuff back in the day. She was only $19.99, but I did not get her because honestly, I don't know like where I would put her, but I thought she was cute. I don't need any more trays, any more gold trays, but if you're looking for something to store your perfume or knickknacks or whatnot on your dressers, this was cute, $29.99. And obviously you can see compared to my hand, it was a pretty decent size as well. And it had like a sparkly, feminine, girly type of finish to it. They had a bunch of like crystal-like decorative pieces there. Uh, like this one. I don't know where it's from. What are, you can read that, pause it and read it if you want to, but they had a few of these and I believe they were pretty inexpensive as well. This little marble looking ball thing is like a nice little decorative piece too, coming in at $16.99. That's not too bad. And this vase right here, I didn't like the color, but it was only $24.99 and it's something that if you like it, you can spray paint it customize it to your liking but the shape of it and everything I thought was very nice and it's like horizontally horizontally or vertically horizontally fluted um they had this cute little end table here I love things with mirrors but mirrors are such a pain in the butt to clean so this was $59.99 a little bit pricey for that but if you felt it it was like kind of sturdy and it wasn't really like light and cheapy feeling so it was cute uh, these little candle holders or planters, whatever they were, were cute too, only $39.99. These chairs, adorable. They've been all the rage for like how many years now? They were $179.99 a piece. They seemed to be really good quality. They didn't feel cheap either. So keep an eye out for those at your local home goods. They always have OXO good grips. Um, I didn't get any because my pantry is stocked full of every shape and size of these things. But if you're ever looking for them, you can always get them cheaper at Home Goods, at TJ Maxx, Ross, Marshalls, Ross, preferably. Um, you can always find them cheaper there than somewhere like Container Store and online because they're literally marked down so much. The cereal ones right there, I had actually a few of those. The stainless steel ones are pretty cute. I don't know how I feel about them. I just have the ones with the white tops. Maybe I'll convert to the stainless steel ones later. But to be so much more expensive, I just honestly don't think it was worth it. It's $40 and that's like a three-piece set. So it's more than $10 a piece. Like why? Why? So I left that there. Um, if you're looking for these pest, what are they? Pestle and mort, pestle and mortars. I always have a hard time saying that. Anyway, if you're looking for these things, they're always stocked up at Home Goods. I use those to make my um, sponge my avocados when I make avocado toast. Literally every other morning, um, and it really does come in handy. I like to be fancy like that. You can literally just scoop out your avocado and put it on your toast, but I don't do that. Next, sometimes they have these, sometimes they don't, but this was the Instant Air Fryer. And as you saw, it was a really nice one. Just the box is messed up, but it was only 70 bucks compared to a hundred something dollars in Target or anywhere else you could get them. Um, these little egg makers, I never use these things. I'll just boil an egg old school on the stove, but rarely do I eat hard boiled eggs. So, but if you are looking for something like this, they always have these at home goods too for $14.99 for this specific one. If you're looking for something like that. Next, Breville, such a good brand. And they have these here sometimes at home goods as well. I think this was, um, 
Oh, that was on clearance for $175 from $249, which is really good. I think that was a, was that a toaster oven? There was another Instant Pot there and all their little electrical things, popcorn makers, coffee makers. You can find all that stuff there at discounted prices. These little wooden plates, serving plates, appetizer plates, I thought were so cute and they were pretty inexpensive. I think it said $6.99. A Nutribullet blender. I didn't even know they made blenders, but they had a blender in there. If you're looking for like brand name appliances, um, Home Goods is a place to go. I believe that was $79.99. And again, that's probably uh, over $100 in your regular store. So make sure to check out Home Goods and places like that first if you're looking for name brand appliances. All of these plastic organizing containers are always fully stocked at literally every home goods that I ever go to. So make sure you look here for your Lazy Susans, your egg organizers, your soda can organizers, your anything organizers really. Here is a Cuisinart one for $7.99, an egg um, organizer. And you can also stack those on top of each other if you keep like a surplus of eggs. And these little salt and pepper shakers, oh my God, these were so cute and they were on clearance for $8. I mean, $8 for that, that's not bad. Look how nice and modern that is. I feel like I could walk into Crate and Barrel right now and see salt and pepper shakers just like that. Anyway, moving on to the photos. So I don't know why I just saying that. I love looking at the photos. I don't switch my photos out that often, but I do like looking to see what they have. I actually wanna change the photo in my dining room area. Um, like it was more when I was like going through that whole glam phase, but I'm kind of out of the sparkly, glittery glam pictures and more onto the stuff like this, a little more artsy, more matte, more toned down. I thought these two were really nice, but they don't really go with my dining room area. Um, I thought this was kind of like a nice set right here as well. Not for me, but it is still nice. And it was $60 for a set of two, which is not bad because they are pretty decent size as well, as you can see on the picture. These, I'm like on and off about photos or pictures, canvases, um, like these. Like, it's really nice how it's weaved in there. I don't know if it's hand weaved or anything, but is that weaved or is that painted? I could be tripping, girl. Okay, I did a close up. It looks like it's weaved. Anyway, $49.99 and it was a pretty big size. Um, it's nice if you have more of like a boho theme type home. This I really loved and I wish it wasn't, I believe it was broken. It was on clearance for $180. And I'm like, $180 for one? That's kind of a lot. And I had two of them and something like that I would have loved to put in my dining room. But they were two different patterns as well. And I was looking for something more of the same pattern. So that wouldn't really have worked. Like this pattern I loved versus the one behind it. But this one I believe was broken on the corner. So that wasn't going to happen anyway. This chair looks very cozy and modern and nice. $5.99.99 for a chair to me, girl, is expensive. But if you got it, girl, go ahead and get it because that thing was cute. If I had a bigger bedroom, maybe like where I could fit a sitting area, that's something I would have considered. Um, this little credenza was made in India. I thought it was pretty nice. $2.49.99 for this big ass thing versus that one chair for $5.99. Like, make it make sense. Make it make sense to me. Anyway, I thought this was cute. I would probably paint it a different color. I wasn't like crazy about the color, but I like the design of it. Of course, moving on to the dog toys because I have little doggies and they need toys every single time I go to Home Goods. If you guys saw their toy bins that are all around the house, you would think that Benny and I were crazy people because they literally have three bins around this house full of toys. And the one in the living room is so huge. It's like the size of a hamper. Anyway, so I always take a gander at the toys for my little boys because I love to bring them home something. They absolutely get so excited when they know we come home with plastic bags because they know that we're coming with toys. Look how cute this one was. Donuts and coffee, are you serious? This is me in a toy and I just thought that was so cute usually we look for something that has like two toys now that we have two dogs um this little llama how freaking adorable I mean llama alpaca 
fight with me on it if you want to. It could be either or. Anyway, you see how cheap their toys are? The thing was only $4.99 and it's so plush and adorable. Um, if you don't like to look at dog toys like me, then you can just skip maybe like a minute ahead because I'm literally searching through the section to find cute things for the dogs. I like the little froggy. He was so cute too. And because our dogs have so many toys, like I have to make sure I'm not getting them something that they have already. Um, so sometimes that can be a little bit difficult. Ugh, dinosaurs, I love anything dinosaurs. Um, this was an Easter toy. They had a lot of Easter stuff out, which was kind of odd, but yeah, a lot of bunnies and stuff like that and carrots and whatnot, as you can see. Um, the dinosaur one was so cute, but that's literally bigger than both of my dogs so that wasn't gonna happen um but yeah their toys range from anywhere to I don't know depending on how big it is like $12 down to like $3 I as you can tell I'm like obsessed with this little frog I thought it was so adorable and I actually did end up getting that one I believe for Sebastian because he probably has a frog toy but not one that looks exactly like that right I'm trying to debate with Benny which toy um there was the bunny rabbit chewy but i didn't get him because he already has a chewy toy benny's the one that likes to get him like those classic type of toys like that moving right along these two chairs were very nice i thought they would be a nice addition to anybody's living room family room even your bedroom if you have a nice little sitting area in there i still like the nail head detail i don't care how in or out it goes i think it is a classic look for a American home. <laughs> These were $4.99.99 each. That's the brand. Never heard of it. Lillian. But they were pretty nice chairs. The color and everything was nice. This little uh, Ottoman bench thing. I don't know about that. These were actually kind of nice too. Minus the little fuzzies on them. It was kind of like a blue clay material. <laughs> blue clay material. These were $4.99.99 each as well. Tommy Hilfiger girl. Um, but yeah, they were actually pretty comfy. I actually sat in one. This was a very nice modern chair, but as you can see, it had all those little nicks and scrapes on it and the cushion was like all worn out. But if you find a newer one or a set of these in your nearest home goods, it'll be a nice modern addition to your home. Mirrors. I love to look at the mirrors. This one was pretty nice. This one was $79.99 as you can see. Um, it kind of reminds me of a restoration -y type of mirror or something like that. Yes, there's one behind it and then there's that one, but I, I like that one in particular. Um, there was also this gold kind of nail head detail mirror that I thought was very nice as well. Reminded me of something you could find at like, what is it? World Market, something like that, or even West Elm. Uh, the price was not bad either. So again, always take a look at your mirrors at your local home goods if you're looking for mirrors because they usually have a pretty big selection and they'd be a lot cheaper than if you were to buy them at like furniture stores or something like that this one was nice too 3.99 did that say two or 3.99 very glam if you're into that glam type of decor it was just very pretty that would be a nice addition to somebody's home if you like that glam decor type of style i'm more into neutrals but i like a lot of blacks and grays I can't make it too feminine because my husband <laughs> so I don't know what am, why am I just standing in the mirror like that okay ridiculous moving on Jamiel moving on so these are some of the other mirrors that I saw I don't think anything else really tickled my fancy in this particular section this particular day um Mm, I don't even know why I picked that up. This is like, I know this pattern in chairs was very popular. So I just wanted to show you guys that mirror. Not really my style, but if you're into boho African type of stuff, then maybe that's for you. I thought these lamps were okay. They're Ralph Lauren. They're $99.99 each. So if you're looking for brand named uh lamps <laughs> here you go they're okay i thought this one was really cute this would be cute in like a kid's room or something this one was kate spade and it was 39.99 not bad um i say kid's room because it's kind of small for like a primary room usually primary rooms are a little bigger maybe you could put it on the desk or something i don't know this hanging one was super cute it was 99.99 and i can imagine this hanging on like either sides of somebody's bed i love to see hanging lights off the side of somebody's beds as well they had these um computer or laptop risers 
uh, just to make space. I didn't really particularly, this could go in like maybe like a little girl's room or something. <laughs> I didn't really like the finish on it. I wish it was just like regular clear and not like iridescent, uh, but not bad. $29.99. Anything like acrylic is always going to be a little bit on the pricey side because it's always in for some reason. This little desk lamp I thought was adorable too. Don't need one, but I thought it was cute. And it's $24.99 and it also had a little USB uh, port in it as well. So you can plug up your phone and whatnot. Very convenient for us modern techies these days uh, a lot of organizing bins I thought this one was really nice you could put pictures you could put important paperwork documents all type of stuff you can put in there but I just thought this one in particular was nice with the little wood handle I don't know if I found the price on this or not but it was cute I'm pretty sure it was probably between 15 and 30 dollars these organizing bins, they literally always have at Home Goods, and that brand is good too. Um, I like that it came in a set of three, and the price for this was only $16.99, which was really good because those size uh, bins are, and it, it, for it to come in a set of three, that price was good. As you can see, these are a little more, $24.99. You only get two of them, but it's because they have that wooden top. And I actually have those in my room as well. They always have a plethora of velvet hangers. So always stop here first if you need velvet hangers. This Scrabble game is like a giant Scrabble and it looked like really old school and I loved it. So this had to come with us. I like um, to play board games when there's nothing else to do or, you know, you're having a relaxing night in or something like that, which me and my husband often do. So yes, the Scrabble came with us. And it's fun to play also when you have family over and, you know, conversation starter or something to do instead of just sitting around watching TV and movies and stuff like that. Um, moving right along to the candles. I always stop at the candles. I don't know why because I never usually end up buying candles. I look at more of the oil reed diffusers because I have a Nest one. But once it runs out, I like to just fill it up with one of these and you'll never know that it wasn't Nest. Um, so, yeah. I never buy candles from here because I feel like nothing smells as strong as Bath and Body Works candle. I am like a ride or die Bath and Body Works candle girl. So, ixnay on the candles. Um, I've taken too many chances and been upset too many times. So, over back over to the decor. Um, this bowl was pretty nice. It sucks that it was like chipped and whatnot. Like all around, people don't know how to take care of stuff. Like put it back gently but sometimes that'd be the employees too I don't know what the price of this was but it was just a nice decorative oval oblong kind of bowl um this horse piece reminded me very much of something in restoration maybe on a smaller scale but if you're into this kind of stuff it was nice it was only $39.99 I believe that was handmade in India as well it was just a nice decorative luxurious looking piece I didn't need it but uh you know there it went next <laughs> moving right along and this is the problem with home goods oh my god I don't need stuff but I go in there and I see stuff that I like I thought this thing was kind of cool this lamp it's very like 70s esque I don't know I thought it was cute just wanted to show you guys this is a nice little maybe keepsake or jewelry box $24.99 but it felt like a very thick stone material and they also had like a smaller square version of it um, you can use this as a jewelry box or a decorative piece on your shelves or something like that. Um, I thought those were super cute too. Bathroom stuff I absolutely didn't need, but I just wanted to show you guys some cute stuff that they had. These two pieces were Tahari. As you can see, they are nicely priced, $6.99 and $9.99. They look very nice and luxurious and not like cheapy cheapy. And then they had some really nice trays too that you can put in your bathroom or your dresser for your perfumes or whatnot. This one was pretty nice as well and it was heavy as hell, $12.99. But if you like, I don't think it was supposed to be rusty like that, but that could actually be like a look, you know? Um, these little wooden bamboo organizers. Also, if you're looking for them, they always have these in stock too. This one was $19.99. And these slip sleep mask, a lot of times they have the sleep mask and they have the... Um, pillow covers the what is it called a pillow cover I'm drawing a blank anyway <laughs> as you know slip or if you don't slip is a very nice luxurious brand they sell that at Sephora this eye cover was $24.99 I would never spend my money on something like that 
I put it in the cart like full. I didn't end up buying it though. <laughs> I don't know what this soap smelled like. I just really like the container and I wanted to show you guys. It was only $7.99. Um, I don't need this, uh, but I just thought it was really nice because it has that fluted glass look that I love so much. Here was another decorative tray. Again, they have it in the bathroom section, but you don't have to only use it in your bathroom, of course. And the price on this was only $14.99. Pretty good. It looks very nice and modern and rustic, if you will. Uh, is that teak wood? I believe it's teak wood. I have this um, on our bed right now in a queen. And it is the softest blanket you will ever sleep with. And it's so big. I love it. Because my husband gets really hot when we sleep. And he likes to sleep all over me. So we cannot sleep with... A comforter we have to sleep with like one of these so I pull the comforter back and this is what we use to cover ourselves at night I have it in dark gray I figured why not get it in light gray I mean you can never have too many of those right and then of course on your way out in the lines as you're waiting they have all the things that you don't need but you thought you did so they had these nest hand sanitizers they were priced really good at only $9.99 and in Nordstrom and places like that I believe they're like $20 upwards of $20 or something like that grapefruit to me smelled the best out of the ones I smelled this day and lastly these scent bags are so good to place in your drawers hampers closets anywhere so I did pick these up for only $4.99 as well so that's it for this video you guys thank you for tagging along with me today it was so nice to have you as you saw we found some really good stuff today sometimes you do sometimes you don't as you see we didn't really find too much today it's really a hit or miss in these type of stores anyway don't forget to like this video of course if you liked it which duh, i hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already chat with me down in the comments let me know if you liked what i got or how much you love home goods give this video a huge thumbs up if you freaking love home goods love home goods and i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys bye